Dear friends, you know that forest was considered as the tabavan of saints of ancient India. Forest unconditionally delivers natural resources for the benefit of all and in this context we can quote the message of Lord Gautam Buddha which reflects the forest is a peculiar organism of unlimited kindness and benevolence that makes no demands for its sustenance and extends generously the products of its life activity it affords protection to all beings offering shade even to the axman who destroys it india is having larger forest areas and enormous tribal groups inhabit inside the forests kadas are categorized as hunting gathering tribal groups and they inhabit in the premises of parmbikulam wildlife sanctuary in the vicinity of adrapalli waterfalls kadas are located in palakkad and thrissur districts of kerala and categorized as primitive tribe they are enumerated as the small tribal groups with having 2145 population their lifestyle is dependent on seasonal variation of forest resources kadars hunt different types of bird rabbits deer wild pigs and other animals they use bow and arrow for hunting purpose they also take the help of dogs to chase small animals and kill them with billhooks and sticks they catch fish by placing poisonous bark into water nowadays occupation of kadas is limited to gather only forest products they collect honey honey wax bamboo shoots tamarind cardamom ginger leaves fruits etc but kadas are very famous to collect honey and medicinal herbs they cultivate black peppers by producing creeper like plants these plants are grown in humid tropical regions black pepper cultivation is supported by the national rural employment guarantee scheme kadars are also involved in farm works of vana samrakshana samiti kadars work as elephant driver known as mahout they also serve as anganwadi workers many kadars migrate to different cities in search of jobs there they work in the hospital as staff nurses few of kadars are also found to do vehicle driving and government job traditional houses of kadars are rectangular in shape supported by four bamboo posts floor of house is made with having a few feet height from ground kora grasses are used to make thatches of their huts kitchen is made under a separate shed toilet facility is not available in house and they used to go outside for defection but nowadays many kadars live in pukka houses made under government scheme these houses are having two rooms a bathroom toilet and kitchen pukka houses are also found there with having tap water facility in many of the houses there is no electric connection but kadars try to finish their household chores before sunset and therefore they do not have any requirement of electricity their villages are connected by only one dilapidated concrete road they use jeep for transportation there is not found any general store and they sell their forest products in local markets schools and medical facilities are far from their villages kadars prefer to make nuclear family while joint family is rarely existed they belong to patrilineal families father is the head of family and he takes all decisions they associate themselves with kochi kadar and follow their clan rules kadars are related with others by kinship tie their kinship terminology indicates that children call their father as appan and mother amma in respecting their social taboo wives do not call the name of husbands husbands elders brothers and fathers in law in accordance with their custom pregnant woman is shifted in a separate hut tindari chala and midwives attend the delivery after 3 months of delivery mother takes purification bath 
and then participates in normal activities. But nowadays, they adopt institutionalized birth practices. Cadets come in martial alliance to form family. Marriageable age of boys is 19 years and girls 16 years. They prefer negotiation marriage. Boy and girl find each other and then elders of the tribe know their willingness. Then they discuss with others and fix weddings. They mostly follow monogamy of marriage. In special cases, cross-cousin marriage with the father's sister's daughter or maternal uncle's niece, levirate and sororate marriages are prevalent among them. Kadars follow strict rules for divorce and allow widows remarry. Kadars bury the dead body covering by mat. Normally, new grave is dug and head of dead body is placed in southwest direction. Implements of deceased person are also buried with dead body. They collect few stones from the burial ground and keep it near the settlement for worshipping. After two weeks, they perform purification ceremony. Kadas belong to patrilineal family and as per their norms, family properties are passed through male line. Their landed property is inherited by their sons. But nowadays, properties of some families are distributed equally among sons and daughters. Status of women among Kadas is almost equal to men. Some of socio-cultural barriers indicate that young women are not allowed to enter in workshop place. But Kadar women help their husbands in cultivation, collection of forest products, laboring, etc. Women also engage in weaving and tailoring professions. They come under Dravidian language family and speak Kadar Basha or Kadiror Kada originated from Tamil and Malayalam languages. But they do not have any script of their dialect. They use Malayalam or Tamil scripts in writing. Diet of Kadar includes rice, millet, appam and dosai of Hindu, panamaru, unnan, tubers and roots. They traditionally eat meat of rabbits, tortoises and birds. They also eat chicken, fish, eggs and dry meat. They prefer their traditional drink, Vanga. They use bows and arrows for hunting purpose. Their other implements are digging sticks, axe, knives, etc. Their divergent fishing traps made of bamboo are very famous. Nowadays, they use buckets, karai, hearth, ladles, pots and vessels. Earlier, they made their short dresses by using forest resources like leaves, birds, fibers, etc. to cover their private parts only. Now, Kadar women use salwar, chudidar, sari and shawl, while men wear dhoti, lungi, pants and shirts. Kadar women use several ornaments like earrings, finger rings, necklaces, todar or ear pin. Mukutiar or nose screws, bangles, hair comb, etc., which are made up of bamboos, bronze, and silver. Men sometimes use necklaces and finger rings. They perform traditional dance, chuvadu, and kadar nurtam. Women catch the hands and cloth tips of each other and perform dance in a semi circle manner. Their Korngamatur monkey dance, Anatomor elephant dance, and Manatomor deer dance are performed with flute, veena, mridangam, violin, and thalam. They draw pictures of plants, flowers, animals, etc. on the walls of their houses. They also prepare rengoli on courtyards and religious places at festival times. They use bamboo to make different types of baskets, containers, drumsticks, etc. Kadar craftsmen prepare wooden toys and furniture. Kadar men and women are very skilled in weaving varieties of mats of kora grasses. They use palm and coconut leaves to make a broom. They collect the fiber from the cover of coconut and use it to prepare rope. Folk tales are well known among Kada community. They convey varieties of incident related to their socio-cultural, religious and political issues through folk tales like God's Feast of Kadavul, Friendship with Elephants, Forest as Home, etc. Earlier, youth dormitory was existed in every Kadar village. 
they used dormitory for organizing puberty ceremony known as thirati exchanging information and performing religious activities presently kadals meet at their newly constructed community hall to discuss socio cultural issues enjoy television programs study etc kadals believe god ayappan and goddess kali and worship them they worship malaviri before collection of forest products they also worship mala devangal murugan and mariamman for in a friend ayappa swami is also worshiped to save them from disasters kadars are worried by evil spirit muni and bad effect of black magic called pili priest known as mupen is respected as religious head and he performs worship of gods and goddess they offer flowers and coconuts to appease them they participate in plantation programs and preserve rainwater and protect forests from environmental degradation they also protect animals and birds from poachers they work with state forest departments and nationals and international wildlife organizations to protect plants and animals formerly carders believed magico religious health care practices now they have curative measures for various diseases from their traditional healers they cure fever stomach ache cough etc by organizing cultural activities and sewing herbal medicines many of kada children play hide and seek kachi or goli tree climbing and swimming they rarely practice football volleyball cricket etc their children are also given advantage of both traditional and modern games at school kadas live in groups with having a traditionally political head mupen mupen and his wife are highly respected and they are empowered to settle all disputes he uses to discuss with forest department on the issue of plantation and preservation of forests schools in kadar areas are built up on hills with having basic facilities like drinking water toilet library first aid better furniture electric connection water harvesting etc icd facilities are functioning in every school while playground and boundary wall are rarely found undulating concrete roads connect schools and public transport facility is not available only private transport facility mainly jeep is used to bring children in school and return them to their residence any relevant facility is not found for disabled children any kadar is not found in teaching profession but teachers in other tribal communities are teaching in schools permanent teachers in schools are available more in numbers than contractual teachers teacher pupil ratio in a school is maintained according to rte act government ashram model residential school for tribal students is running with all facilities such as better infrastructure consisting of school building enough number of rooms teaching learning materials icts library playground and adequate trained teachers fooding accommodation and medical facilities are also found there all teachers use the local language or malayalam as medium of instruction in schools sometimes they use english language for teaching but in residential schools there is option of teaching in hindi arabic or tamil language teachers mostly prepare lesson plans before classroom teaching they use relevant teaching learning materials and icts to explain contents they encourage students to participate in group activities promote their individual work and check homework many teachers start classroom teaching by asking questions on former lesson and briefly discuss again if there is any doubt of students in continuation of classroom discussion teachers sometimes ask questions to check understanding level of students teachers sometimes explain especially mathematical concepts with the help of tribal games arts and crafts teachers use folk tales to improve moral values of students their character civic sense affection to the animals preservation of forest etc teachers sometimes assign individual projects to the students 
they organize paper pencil test to improve writing skills and assess subject understanding of students they occasionally organize short quiz on different topics to give them general knowledge teacher training program is rarely organized but teachers mostly have completed diploma courses from local training institutes and achieved basic knowledge of computer works such as word processing microsoft excel microsoft powerpoint etc teachers are capable to do installing software scanning documents sending and receiving email downloading and uploading materials they believe that ict usages in classroom improve the subject understanding of students teachers used to hold monthly meeting with parents and they discuss several issues like punctuality of students classroom attendance their test results future strategies to improve learning ability etc schools are located few kilometers away from kadar villages and kadar people are not aware to the modern education system therefore in some schools other tribal people work as smc members they play active role to improve infrastructure facilities and school education smc members occasionally visit schools and look after the classroom situation availability of drinking water functioning of toilet water harvesting electricity and ict facilities they plan to appoint adequate number of teachers as per rte act smc members sometime monitor the punctuality of teachers and students progress of teaching in view of curriculum learning assessment homework and test results they sometime visit tribal houses to encourage parents for sending their children in schools they sometime participate in pmt to discuss on educational progress of children motivate parents to understand the feeling of children and send all children in a school for reducing dropout smc members try to extract teachers from non academic activities such as preparation of voter identity card election duties linking aadhar card etc they also try with their best to organize teacher training program for enhancing professional growth in closing dates of school teachers visit houses of parents and discuss on issue of education of their kids and receive feedback from them all parents are very positive to the teachers and they are optimized to send their children especially in residential schools parents are asked to attend the ptm which is held once in a month in ptm parents are informed about the punctuality of their wards their class attendance reading writing skills test results overall educational progress and government educational schemes and its implementation overall it is noticed that kadas are indigenous primitive tribal groups and hunting gathering are their main occupations while they cultivate black peppers they inhabit in forest areas with minimum basic amenities their traditional dance arts and crafts and festivals are very famous their new generation is participating in formal education system but their culture and economy are still connected with their forest and therefore they are endeavored to preserve their forest for enormous benefits aho esham varam janma sarva pranayu pajivanam r dhanya mahiruha yabyo nirashayanid nadirnaha namaskar